Do you have this issue with your 9th gen Impala? You hit the heated seats and you get nothing? Well, today we're gonna diagnose and do some part swapping. And we'll do that after the intro. So I'm rocking the uh, tech to win here on my uh, BCX Nano. We're gonna set this up. This is my 2015 Impala Limited LTZ, which is essentially a carryover of a 2013, which is the latest year you can use tech to win. So if I just set this as a 2013 Chevy Impala. We should be golden and I think this is in body dang it I can't remember now I think so so we're gonna go heated seat module there it is F2 Diagnostic trouble codes. Display it. Show me them codes. I think I reach under here and hold my plug in. I think this is. Yep. Well. I'll get this figured out and uh, I'll show you what it's doing here. Alright, I'm sitting here with one hand holding my USB cable onto my onto my Nano. It's what you get for paying 109 bucks for you know. So, I should be able to read, there we go, view all DTCs. All right. Let me set this down a sec here. All right, so. Seat heater relay circuit short to ground. And uh, if I clear that, all right, let's, ah, damn it, I gotta set this somewhere. Let me see if I can throw my kickstand on. Let's try this. Okay. I'm gonna clear DTCs and I'm gonna go to yes. <laughs> this stupid thing. All right, <laughs> trust me, I will clear these stupid things. This is this is an issue with this VCX Nano. see if she goes this time I should have got the uh, Bluetooth version of this VCX Nano okay now we're clear now we will exit all the way out of here and note I'm running the 33.004 Okay, I'm just gonna start the car and watch. We get lights. Oh, they didn't even come on this time. So, I was able to clear them codes and then you know, get that to work for like two seconds, then it would quit again. Well, right now I can't clear the codes. It keeps coming back. So I'm going to pull the seat. And before I do that, I'm going to take a little electrical tape just because I'm one of them people that I have, I'm finicky with my seat. I'm just going to put a mark there and maybe a mark 
I don't know, on the side so I know where to recline it. I got my seat marked, so we're gonna move it all the way forward. I'm gonna leave the seat belt attached because I'm not taking the seat out. I'm just gonna move it forward. And there are two 15 millimeter bolts. There's one there and there's one there. Get it in frame. Take these out. Um, and then we're gonna flip the seat forward. Probably should have the battery disconnected. I recommend you do that. To, and if something happens that's on me but I recommend you you disconnect the battery okay got those bolts out now what you want to do is uh, move the seat all the way back and recline it recline it all the way back and this will make it easier to um, detach detach your front you know what, maybe uh, recline the seat second. <laughs> Bring the seat back first and then recline it. I just found it's easier to get these seats unhooked if you recline it. Because then it exposes everything up front. All right, so what you want to do is lift up on here. You're going to lift up on the seat and then you're going to unhook. These kind of hook in there and there so you want to lift up to be able to get that up and out so I'm gonna go ahead and do that then just pull back helps to get a second person too See, I got it out. Now I'm gonna recline the seat all the way forward again. And the reason I'm gonna do that is because now we can tilt this forward and we can take a look at all the wires down there. And I'm also looking for the seat module. So I'll set you down and uh, we'll take a look at that. I'm gonna get you in here and see if you can see that yellow plugs the airbag connector. And if you can see that plug right there, that's your electric seat. And then up under here is your seat heater module. And I'm gonna take all these wires off and just make sure none of them are damaged. And I'm also gonna take that module out. And like I said, I'm swapping parts today. I got this off eBay. I think it was 40 bucks. So I'm going to swap that in. I know it's got a busted tab. I might just swap the guts out. I don't know. I'm going to yank that other one out and just, just uh, check it out. Well, I decided to just take the seat out. And I'm going to examine. I think I'll wrap the airbag wires in yellow tape. No, these don't look bad. So, let's go look at the seat. Well, here's the bottom of the seat, and I found a thing of Carmex smashed up under there. <laughs> I mean, I wonder if this could be causing the problem. Don't know for sure. But I'm going to take that module out of there, and just judging by the look of it, I might need to replace the... I might need to swap the guts out. The housing looks a little bit different.
got the stupid thing out. Man, I was struggling trying to get these bolts out. But, uh, yeah, one side is snapped. And this other one, I had to drill that little bracket out. But uh, they have different part numbers, but they're all different. These should be the exact same. And I'm just going to inspect all the wires coming out of here before I swap these over. Shorts. I mean, I don't see anything exposed anywhere either. That's why I'm just thinking it's this module that's bad. Yeah, nothing looks. I don't see anything like crunched up anywhere. I've thoroughly examined this thing too. Just checking for. Wonder if it's in this one. Why oh, that one's being so stubborn. All oh, the connectors all look good. No burnt wires. No loose wires. I suppose I could swap this. I could swap this over just because it has a better mounting thing to it. Huh. Probably have to put this under a microscope to see if there's anything fried on here. Nothing obvious. I think I might just swap that housing out right now just because. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, that works. if I can locate oh, I found one nut the other one fell down in there somewhere I gotta find the other one we'll just put this back up it's gonna be fun bolting that back up well I guess I'll do that So I just brought the seat back in the car and I hooked everything back up. I'm just going to leave it hanging like this and just see what happens. There's always a possibility that the passenger seat could be short enough too. Yeah, that took care of it. Well, let me turn the radio off. Let's see. Off. All right. And they didn't short out. Yeah. Well, I'll be a some. I'll be a some beach. It was that module. So, uh, shade tree part swapping to the rescue. Well, let's get the seat button back up. All right, now that I got the pretension hook back up, I'm gonna recline the seat again, which will make it easier to get these front clips hooked in. Okay, I did manage to get them hooked up. And so now I'll tilt the seat back forward, we'll run her all the way up. And I still have my markings so I can set my seat the way I had it. Oh, and I gotta find my bolts. There we 
go we're all back in place I had when I was uh, putting those bolts back in I realized I didn't put the little orange retainer tab back in the airbag connector well, let's get one more look at that so as you can see they are currently working I'm sitting in the passenger seat they're getting warm I mean you know I don't have the engine running I don't think they're going full bore right now but uh I'll show you what happens when I sit my fat ass over in the driver's seat Just to show you that they're see they're still on and now I'm gonna sit soon as I sit watch this boom they go out so yeah there's something in this driver's seat and they got warm too man yeah they were warm let me see maybe if I sit up will it go yeah, see they work. If I sit up, as soon as I sit down and get comfortable, boom, out. I hear it click. See, as soon as I sit. So there is something wrong with this seat. I gotta figure out what. I don't <laughs> I don't know if I need to tear the upholstery off. Cause every yep, yeah, I can hear it click as soon as I sit down. And then it won't do nothing. I sit up, boom. Sit down. Click. Out. <laughs> oh boy. Well, that's a whole other can of worms. I'm gonna um, hit the pause button on this video for right now and uh, figure a few things out. And I'll update you with my progress. All right, so now I have not removed the seat from the car. I just took the two back bolts out and I took the headrest out. And if you didn't know, you know you got your button here, but you can stick a little tiny screwdriver in this hole and punch it in and you can lift the headrest out. Now I can get me some articulation on the seat. Now I went under here. I'm gonna trying to hold the seat up in one hand with one hand and the camera in the other. I gotta get my light down here. So I can show you what I disconnected. Um did some looking online. I found which one was the bottom seat cushion. Now this connector here this black one's in the way, but the one behind it is a green one. I can get the damn camera focused on it. Oh, shit, I can't. Sorry. Well, there's the connector. It's from behind that black one. I just um, took my trim tool and t pulled the little clip out so I could get it down, and then I just lifted up on the little tab and unplugged it. So now I'm going to go back, and I'm going to test it. And I think if my... Uh, see if it's I'm pretty sure that's the bottom one at least on the GMT 800s there otherwise there's another connector right there that I might try I don't think that black one is a seed heater control or a plug so I'm gonna set this back down and just give it a try all right so I am sitting down firmly in the seat let's see what it does yeah she clicked on Just, just sit up and down. I think, <laughs> yep. I think that uh, that proves that uh, the bottom seat cushion uh, heater must have a short in it. Yep. As you can see, we're still going. And I don't feel the bottom getting warm because it's disconnected. I can start to feel the back getting warm.
All right, so I guess my next, excuse me, my next uh, course of action is to order a new seat heater and uh, take the seat back out and do some surgery. So uh, stay tuned for that. Okay, so I think this video has gone on long enough. Um, I have ordered seat heater pads for the top and bottom, and I also ordered some dye to repair. I've uh, cleaned these seats really well. I thought they were dirty, but it turns out the dye is kind of wearing away. Found a place that uh, sells OEM dye. They got videos on YouTube how to do it. I got a little eight ounce bottle for like 30 bucks. So I'm gonna end this video here. I'm gonna do a part two and I'm gonna take the seat apart and uh, replace them heaters. And I'm gonna go through every damn wire on there and make sure there's no shorts. And then I'm gonna paint some new dye on the seats. Oh, I got a new, and I got a new uh, side panel. This, let me show you this here. Same place I bought the seat heaters from. I bought a new side panel because I noticed this is all cracked and I don't want to, I mean, I could glue this back together, but I found the part, I think it was 19 bucks. I mean, what the hell? I might as well just, uh, this has to come off anyway. Let's get a new one on there. So, uh, stay tuned for part two. Where I take this seat apart. And uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in part two later.